all the days of our life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come humbly before you. God who answers prayers and unto him, all of his people, the prayer of his people shall come. We pray that the coming prayers will meet with your joy and favor in Jesus' name. Thank you, faithful Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. When we are done in our prayers and with our prayers today, we pray that our testimony will speak for itself. Thank you. We know you have answered. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' regular name, we have prayed. Can we please put our hands together to say thank you to him? who is who was and who is to come forever we put it together because the lord is good and his kingdom is forever regular praise the lord praise the living god all are welcome from wherever angle point to have chosen to worship and praise the name of the lord in the name of the lord jesus christ Joy of anyone who is truly a Christian. Joy of everyone who is truly godly in heart, in soul, in spirit. Is to be glad because the Bible says I was glad. I don't need that somebody will say to me. Because the one who will say to me is the king himself. The Lord of Lord. He said I was glad when they say unto me let us go to the house of the Lord. May the gladness of the Lord jump up in the heart of someone here today in Jesus' name. May you be glad forever. For every reason of your life, you'll be glad. In Jesus' name. So, according to our spiritual custom, because we are customer to the throne of grace, and customers does not lack. So as a customer to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, we turn to Psalm 59. Ten verses on rapid successions. We're going to read. And while we read, something will repeat itself for greatness. In our understanding, Psalm 59, from verse 1 through to verse 10. One, two, three, together we read, go. Deliver me from my enemies. Oh my God, defend them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. And save me from bloody men. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, nor for my sin, O Lord. They run and prepare themselves without my fault. Awake to help me, and behold, thou therefore, O Lord God of hosts, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the heathen. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressors. They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog. And go round about the city. Behold, they belch out with their mouth. Sword are in their lips. For who say they does hear? But thou, O Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shall have all the hidden in derision. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For God is my defense. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon my enemy. Blessed be the name of the Lord for that written in the name of Jesus Christ. Here is a word from the pen of a man who knew troubles in life. And it's also a word of assurance for someone who is going through a tough time. And it's a guarantee and a guarantor that you are not going to perish with the evildoers. 
Therefore, this very day, you are going to thank God for yesterday deliverance. Why you know for your yesterday deliverance, there will be no today. God delivered you. He delivered your children. He delivered your business. He delivered your lineage. If the one who is the origin of your family was not delivered, there will be no space for you in the land of the living. You want to say, Lord, thank you for the deliverance of past years. Thank you for the deliverance of this year. Deliverance is deliverance. Almightiness of God deserves our praise. Let's say to God, thank you. God of truth. God of light. God of greatness. He wants to receive the fruit of your lips. Let there be a flowery language from your lips about God. Give him a fresh approach. In your thanksgiving, give it to him fresh. He delivered you when you are not aware. When you deliberately walk into the net of your haters, mercy follow you there. Yes. When you are bodily weak and mentally disorganized, a good opportunity for wicked people to snatch you. But the Lord delivered you. Can you say to God, thank you, sir, for delivering my life, for not leaving me alone. Can you thank God for those that God used in your deliverance process? There were some people that God mandated. Be sure you deliver that man. Because I have a better tomorrow for him. Be sure you stand suddenly with that woman. So that he can be able to laugh in their tomorrow. Can you thank the Lord and give him praise? Give him deliberate thanksgiving. To say, Lord, thank you. Yes, verbalize your praise. Verbalize your thanks. Give him a deliberate thanksgiving. It's about God. It's about you. The devil wanted to give you a flat tire. In your effort in life. So that you be no more. But this is you. You still have a voice. Madam, can I assure you. Your testimony will be good enough. For the unborn generation to celebrate. Give him a praise. That you know is flowing from the bottom of your spirit. Wherever you are participating in this program. Local and international. From the geography of your environment. And the history of your, of your prayers. And the chemistry of your standing. Say to God. Elohim. Thank you. The enthroned one. I give you praise. Thank you. Glory, praise, adoration. How great is our God. How great is his name. How great is his love. Forever the same. He rose by the waters. Out of my tyranny. And he said, I'll never leave you. Put your trust in me. Can you express the greatness of God about you? You can't be tired. You can't be weak. Yes, commitment is required from you. You say to God, if no one chooses to, to praise you, I am a chapter of thanksgiving. Are you not? Sir, are you not? Sister, are you not? What chapter are you? If you are a chapter of praise, let all things within me give praise unto the Lord. Yes, everything. The living, the living shall praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There's a beautiful chapter that is coming in your direction. God will open that chapter to honor you worry not yourself about what you are seeing 
What you see is limited. What you are not seeing is eternal, immortal. Let's give him praise for the defense that God gave to you. The defense attorney. Move in your direction and you are back in strength. Can you say to the Lord, I am back in strength and I thank you. You are the reason for my coming back in strength. I'm not back in weakness. I'm not back in backwardness. I'm back in strength. Wherever you are praying from, in whatever language, in whatever nations of the world, thank the Lord that you are back in strength. That you woke up this morning. You are not a burden to anybody. Graphically, the Lord redesigned your story. Amazingly, this is you. Yes, let everything around you. Can you wave your hands unto the Lord? Give him a wave often and say, Lord, I thank you. It does not matter what the nations of the world are going through. I give you praise. Give him praise. Only the living can do that. Those who are dead in the grave, they cannot do that. It's an opportunity. Wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. Are you flowing in praise? Don't punctuate your praise, madam. Do not punctuate your thanksgiving, sir. Let it flow naturally. Glory and honor and adoration. Those who are waiting for you. For, for a bad news. That day never came. Why don't you say, Lord, I thank you. He said they lie wait for my soul. Mighty are gathered against me. Not because of my sin. Not for my sin. But their waiting will be for eternity. They cannot get their desire fulfilled. Yes, wave your hand and say, Lord, thank you. Because those who are waiting to hurt my life, they won't succeed. I will worship the Lord. There are some people who believe coming to Christ is a waste of time. They thought your story will go bad. But the Lord proved them wrong. Yes, glory to God. God turned it a lie to the devil and his architects. Architects of wickedness. They designed something for you, madam. The Lord just lifted you away from it. Can you give him a praise? You can't be tired. You, you can't be short of words. You can't, you, you can't lack a corresponding action unto God. Sir, flow in praise. When God will be visiting you, those who will hear your testimony will continue to hear. Your own testimony will be moving from one level to another. Give him praise. Regardless of who is by your side. Yes. Regardless of whatever side of the world you are, in the eastern block, western block, northern block, southern block, the law cannot be blocked. He will see you. All seeing Father, enthroned Jehovah, glory unto him thank you thank you thank you in jesus blessed name we have prayed why we now read from that bible passage of our reading he said they run and prepare themselves without my fault they prepare themselves without my what without my fault <laughs> Is he awake to help me? Sir, I know you are good. I remember there was a time I ministered in a particular place. Unknowingly to me, I didn't know the caliber of the person who came to me and said, Pastor, when are you going to come and pray for me in my office? I said, your desire is, um, is your command is my desire. He said, no, I can't command pastor. I said, okay, how about this day? He said, no problem. So the day we were, we agreed. Then I got to the place and I saw the policeman. I said, are you pastor AYZ? I said, I am. So, first of all, gave a salute. I said, which one is this? Oh? So we were moving the midst of policemen and all. We now arrive into one big office like this. I saw the person who was in a very humble Ankara. Now in a full regalia. Wow, he said, my pastor, you are welcome. You are welcome. So he said, when I listen to you talk, 
something told me there's a space for you at the top it may take you a long time to get there but you are getting there he said i'm going to show you some things you are going to read it for your eyes only so i read and then i said this is interesting he said therefore pastor the way you are going keep going like that your journey will be easy to the top and there will be no blockage then when we now finish all say pastor take this my number because this human being on earth they can be wicked and torturous just i said no i don't pull any problem with anybody ah the person laughed he said pastor even if you are not making trouble there are some people who can make trouble with you i said no if they want to make trouble i would just say ah I say pastor when you come to another level of life you will understand better take this number because you see when you are ignorant you are ignorant until your ignorance is removed so many other things will continue so i just reluctantly took the number ask me whether i even use the number no but years later there was an episode that happened that would have requested me to get in touch but there was no contact another bigger link now came one day now i didn't know i was in my house i mean i was coming from outside it was an allergy man who had an understanding better understanding allergy what allergy man he said pastor there's somebody in your house now hmm? as soon as you come out all i require you to say is meet my neighbor good neighbor Re release every other thing i will take care of myself i said who is the person say pastor i am not preaching neither do i ask you to preach for me whoever is in your house now hmm? When you are coming out, just say, meet my good neighbor. I'll be all right. So, I enter into the house. I met one woman, also in an Ankara dress. I could not ask, who are you? Because I have trouble outside with uh, my neighbor. I was asking questions that one would answer cleverly. And those are, I can't ask, who are you? Because there was no vehicle outside, nothing that is showing me that uh, there is. So, when we finish all, we were say well i listened to you in one of the places where you ministered and somebody gave me address and all and all that's why i'm here and all so when we finished and then we were going out now i now saw the vehicle has come and the driver i saw the crest uh -huh. i now know this is a big shoot shoot that is here with me so i did as if i forgot him because the allergy man was waiting opposite our house he was reading his quran so i did as if i forgot him so a large man did not wait he just ah say my pastor uh, i just want to say you know we are good neighbors and all uh, my, <laughs> ah some people are smart why some people are very slow now look at it here he said they run and prepare themselves without my fault i never knew the power of having a right relationship until one of my pastor had challenge with the niece and then all effort was what not working at all a single phone call bam now i said pastor who is my lord who's in charge of the case i said i don't know all right what's the name of the person i said i don't know I said, get all those details together and send it to me a single phone call that was how all the wahala they wanted to pull over into the entire family melted away they run and prepare themselves without my fault you are going to pray that the Lord will frustrate. Those who are an athletic assignment over my family story, Lord, frustrate them. He said they run. Whether you know of it or you don't know of it, the Bible says it. We are reading from the Bible. He said, they, who are the they? I don't know them. At 10, 20, I don't know they run and prepare themselves who are those preparing themselves not because of your fault but they want to trap you you are going to pray lord those who are having athletic lifestyle to bring me to disgrace running ahead of my life frustrate them lord can you open your mouth and pray in the name of jesus those who are running 
running ahead of my life to bring me to shame to bring my destiny to, to shamble lord frustrate them can you pray bible sir pray bible bible praying people they are never disgraced no matter how much the devil try these people normally come on top lord those who are smarter than me those who are smarter than me and they ran ahead to bring me to pit, to bring me to shame love frustrate them those who have run ahead of my life in the name of jesus christ lord frustrate them by the power of the spirit of the lord are you talking or you are meditating don't meditate my sister talk speak out you are in the house of your daddy yes my, my house shall be called the house of prayer my house shall be called the house of prayer uncle pray as if you are the only one in church whatever nation you are watching this program from america europe asia can you open your mouth in the language you can understand those who have run ahead of me either physically or metaphysically those who have run ahead of me either naturally or spiritually they want to wreck my life lord make them a liar frustrate their effort remember the bible can never lie bible is not a deceiver bible is the very word of light the word of god thank you father in jesus name we pray you know what happened that my pastor the younger sister who had this um, man turns out to be a widow and they've been spending money and money and money for F sin that was never committed by that boy the lawyers were already collecting money on and on but when a superpower make a single phone call and said you are having the wrong person in your custody and within a short while everything collapsed to the very foundation so when the young man from the undergraduate uh, from the university was now released and he came back and i said um, please ma we want to come and say hello to say pastor why do you want to is it not ordinary phone call i made to release uh, him I said, ah, it's okay. When I come, we will discuss that ordinary phone call. So we now went to go and say thank you. Say, Pastor, why do you like disturbing yourself? A single phone call, and then you are, I said, I have so many phones here. Why don't I carry my own phone? To say, my Lord. And then that person listens to me. A single connection you have can be the only answer that will lead you to where you are going he says awake we are reading from the bible awake to help me wake up early to help me madam do you need a help look up to god sir do you want god to help you you are going to say to god as i go out today let me meet my helper let my helper meet me in the name of jesus can you open your mouth and pray about your help that your helper will wake up god will wake up your helpers wake my helpers up yes wake my helpers up to help me early to the glory of god the father son and the holy spirit Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You'll be seated to offer this prayer in verse 6. They return in the evening time. They make noise like a dog. And they go around about the city. Ah, what type of uh, word is this? I read it up again. 
Psalm 59 verse 6. They return in the evening time at evening. They make noise like a dog. What type of situation is this? And they go around about the city. Definitely, it cannot be decent people. Because why would they make noise like a dog? Indecent people. Running around the story of my life. Lord, they must not gain access. Whoever does not suffer with you must not be allowed to reign with you. Am I saying something to somebody? He said they return in the evening. They make noise like a dog. They, they go run about the city. Who is a city apart from you? You are a city of praise. You are a city of thanksgiving. You are going to pray that the Lord will banish those who have emblem of evil, satanic markings that may be surrounding my family, surrounding my business, surrounding my destiny. Lord, banish them. Or if you like, put it this way, I yes, communicate to you. Those with erroneous and satanic inspiration, I expel you away from my story. You will not gain an access. Are you opening your mouth? Open your mouth and banish them. You are praying Bible, sir. Mother, don't close your mouth. Do not close your mouth. Whatever degree of situation you may find yourself, there are those who make noise like a dog. They are terrible people. Satanically aggressive. You are going to pray that they will never gain access to your glory. They will not gain access to your, your progress. Those who have been anointed by the devil, they will not succeed to gain access to this nation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, no matter how much they surround the city, they will not succeed to wreck this nation. All those with satanic anointing, those with satanic rep emblem surrounding Nigeria, you will not succeed. Every satanic oppression and satanic strategy to wreck this nation, it will not work. The more they try, the more they fail. Are you talking? I am not saying meditate. I say speak. It's not compulsory you use English language to pray. Whatever language you know you can use to communicate. People with satanic anointing surrounding our nation, you are failing. We bring you to failure. Can you open your mouth? Bring them to failure. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who are surrounding your business, wanting to wreck your business, wanting to make you an empty person, can you open your mouth and decree and declare in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are not succeeding. Those who are surrounding my city, surrounding my ministry, surrounding my nation, for the purpose of bringing it to disgrace, you are not going to succeed. Yes, you are not succeeding. All indecent people, satanically anointed people, you are not going to succeed. Over my children, no success. Maraca polymamoseria. Yes. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? Te simbora maseka. Raka polymamosente yeboka polymamoseria. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Te simbara ma polymamoseria. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Yeah, oh Lord, oh Baton Badurak, oh go yeah, oh Lord, oh Lord, Darifua. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for now and forever. Thank you. In Jesus' special name, we have prayed. Are we saying a vibrating amen? You are not going to rise up 
for your glory. We care that want to help you to rearrange your glory does not have a good intention. A wicked person say, let me help you to arrange your glory. They will damage it. So you are going to pray that your glory will refuse. Every manipulation from wicked people. Glory of my destiny, refuse. No satanically appointed person will succeed to rearrange my glory. Can you open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus? No satanic agent will succeed to rearrange my glory in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? This is the time of prayer, the season of prayer, the, the point of prayer. It is for you. Let no wicked person help you to rearrange your glory. They must not succeed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Hey, pray this prayer so they will help you. When it seems as if you look to everywhere, you are left alone. I can tell you that Jehovah is always there. Just like what we read there, that he is our defense. He is our what? Defense. Those people whose own has been burnt down to ashes, they must not be given an access to help me to cook my own. It is a native language to talk about those ones who are under evil persecution. Those who are carrying satanic anointing. Who says, I will help you to cook your rice very well. Meanwhile, their own, they are born into ashes. They now come to your own and say, my sister, let me help you to cook your rice well. What would that person do? What would that person do? He will do it the same way he has done his own. So you are going to decree in the name of Jesus. Those who are carrying evil anointing. You will not gain access to my progress. You will not carry access into my children. Open your mouth and speak the word. The word that you speak matters. Sir, this is the hour of prayer. A few more minutes, the time is over. Why don't you pray like this is the only opportunity you have? Wrong people are much in the world. Wrong people are much in this world. That in the name of Jesus, wrong people will not gain access to my progress. Are you praying? Yes. La sempa roma parima boseria. Nereke pelima bosetia. Raka polima are you praying? Be sure you are praying. The presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We hold you strong. We hold you powerfully. We hold you pointedly. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Thank you forever. Thank you forever. In Jesus' faithful name, we have prayed. Pick your Bible and see this in Second Kings. A few more minutes, it will be over. So, put yourself into a right mindset that you are before the Lord and you will be the best. In um, 2 Kings chapter 6, can we all look at it? 2 Kings chapter 6. You know, we have prayed so much prayer that are biblical. Now, let's return back to the Bible and pray the kind of prayer that the enemy cannot stop us. Look at verse 13. And he said, go and spy. Go and do what? That's what they call espionage. Where he is that may send and catch him. And the spy got information right. It was told him, say, he is in Dothan. Are there some spy network? Over your rising profile. Therefore, after they discover him, therefore send he, see the horses, chariots, and a great host. And they came by night and compassed the city 
about. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, the host passed the city, compassed the city with horses and chariots. And the servant said, Alas, my master, we slept last night. Witches and wizards have already located where we were. The wizard, they want to bewitch us. See, there are many. And he answered, Fear not. For those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed and said, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots and fire. Round about Elisha. Round about Elisha. First of all, you are going to pray that the Lord will expose every evil spy that has been sent to go and spy your progress. That the Lord will expose them. Evil what? Evil what? <laughs> when you get back home, just go and read to verse 23 or 33. You will see that those spies, along with all they did, they were brought to shame that cannot allow them to return back to the place. You are going to pray, witches and wizards still spies. Wicked people, satanist spy. They use camera of different sizes. Monitor this man. Don't allow him to escape. Monitor this lady. Push her to the wrong place so that she can waste out. You are going to decree where you are. This is not the type of prayer you pray meditating. No. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever has appointed themselves as spy around my life. For evil intention, the Lord expose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you open your mouth and pray? Whoever has appointed themselves or the devil has appointed them as a spy to spy my progress, to spy my joy, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus. The Lord exposes you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lesete ye mo kapori mamo seria. Iya se kapori mamo seria. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. I read from verse 18. And when they came down, as a result of the work of the spy, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite these people, I pray thee, with what? With what? Some things must go blind. They must do what? Go blind. Go blind. And he smote them with blindness. According to the word of... He didn't say according to the meditation. You know some people will not be sluggish until when you give them important prayer to offer. So you are going to command, it is the law here who blindfolded those who are to create havoc and disaster. Can you now speak? I'm not saying meditate. Mm -mm. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus. Every evil personalities, physically or figuratively, adding my direction. In the name of Jesus, I command you to be blind. In the name of Jesus, can you open that and pray for your future? Those who have been sent to monitor your future to frustration, command them to be blind. Those who have been sent to derail your children, those who have been sent to derail your husband, those who have been sent to derail your ministry, command them to be blinded. In the name of Jesus, be blind. In the name of Jesus, are you praying? Command them to be blind to the glory of God the Father. Nesete ye mo kapori mamo seria. Yes. Yes. Te simbara ma seria. In Jesus name we pray. Who did the work? God. After he has prayed that prayer, Elijah now said, "This is not. This is not the way you are going now. 
Hey, it's not the city you are going now. Follow me. Do what? Meanwhile, the person they are looking for is the one that is talking with them. Some people will have become a superpower. Why you not for the wrong person, wrong people, wrong group, wrong association? He said, follow me. And I will bring you to the man that you are looking for. The man they are looking for is the one leading them. And, but he led them to Samaria. And it came to pass when they were coming to Samaria, Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of this man. That they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes. And they saw, behold, they were in the midst of those they want to attack. Nation of Israel, they are a wonderful nation. No nation under the heaven can belittle them. Because the enthroned one is in their midst. The enthroned one is what? Holy Lord, you can never have a flat tire in life. Those who have prepared themselves to give you flat tire, they are wasting time. Here, all of them, along with the instrument to fight, they were led. Palm in the center of Samaria. And the king of Israel said unto Elijah, when he saw them, my father, I told you on Sunday, what my father is all about. <laughs> Shall I smite them? Shall I smite them? And he said, don't worry, don't waste your bullet. Don't waste your bullet. Don't waste your bullet. Do you want to sweep, do you want to smite those people you are not doing? Look for food, give it to them. You will never be poor. Poverty is gone away from your story. Amen. When it is time for you to spend money, you will not spend argument. Amen. Am I praying for somebody? Amen. Because whoever is poor, you are recall who. who. It's not your character when you are poor. Your character only comes when money enters your hand. That's the truth. They give them food. How many of them? Many of them. He didn't say, Esha, can you can you give me some money? Mm -mm. The prophet knew he had it, and he said the food before them. Those who are saying, if I didn't hear it now, they may throw our head in the earth and say, go back to the one who sent you message. The Bible says they never return back to you. Thank you. You are going to prophesy humiliation. Whatever does not want you to celebrate or to laugh this year. Humiliation. Whatever is opposing to your laughter. Whatever is opposing to your progress. Lord, by your spirit, humiliate them. Either from your father's house from your mother's house, from your business environment, whatever. Lord, my sister, be sure you are praying Bible way. These enemies, they are too bold. They want to fight you and fight your God. They want to fight you and fight your destiny. They want to rubbish the whole lineage that the Lord Almighty, he will bring them to shame. A few more minutes, the time is over. Can you pray this prayer before the time is over? Thank you, Father. Seria. In the name of God the Father. In the name of God the Son. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Glory. 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 Glory unto God forever and ever. Humiliate them. You are not mentioning the name of anybody. You are mentioning the opposition to your laughter. You must laugh this year. Your story must move to the next level. Wherever any organization or group of people that want to bring sadness to this nation, humiliate them are you praying for your city pray for your city pray for your lineage whatever whoever the devil has appointed 
to harass your life, to depress your joy. No, lead them to humiliation. I hope you are praying. Those who are praying in South Africa, be active. Those who are praying in United Arab Emirates, be sure you are also praying with people too. God is on your side. The glory of the Lord is with you. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. In Jesus' faithful name, we have prayed. You will laugh this year. You will do what? Let somebody go and tell Adonijah. When you get your time, you read from 1 Kings chapter 1. Adonijah that is reigning without the knowledge of King David, let them let him be warned. The throne originally belonged to who? Solomon. Solomon is the original owner. Adonijah, you are smarter. Hey, hey. He that seated in the heavens is laughing. How far can Adonijah go? You are going to decree. Every Adonijah that has already hit the path of your destiny. That God will step them down. Hello? When you get back home, go and we are praying Bible-based prayer here. The, the, the golden question came in First Kings chapter 1 verse 18. They told King David, he said, Adonijah is reigning. King David, you didn't know. He said, Adonijah, reigning? All right. I have a shocker for Adonijah. Roll out my approval. Roll out my scepter. Hand it over unto Solomon. And he said, God save the king Solomon. You are going to laugh this year. Amen. Am I saying something to somebody? Amen. So you are going to prophesy. What will make me to laugh? Event that will make me to laugh. Show up this month. This month, this month, this month, this month. Event that will make me to laugh. La Raka Are you praying? Madam, don't close your mouth. Don't close. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Situation that will make me to love. Yes, let it happen this month. To the glory of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. There's another madam there. Madam Atalaya. Madam what? Atalaya lost his son. And he said, anyone who has royal blood, terminate them. After terminating all of them, she asserted herself on the throne. A butcher, a killer. And God stood in the heavens and is laughing. Atalaya. Are you so sure you are going to retain that throne? Never. It can never happen. And at the end of the day, the real owner of the throne came. Jehoash. If you want to follow the story, go to 2 Kings chapter 11. Read from verse 1 to verse 20. When that king was brought, what happened to Ataliah? He was murdered. Heaven was laughing over Ataliah. A scandalous laughter. Say, ah, ah, Ataliah, with all strategy. You didn't know I am a master strategician. You didn't know that I have a super scope to dislodge you. Is there any Atalaya in your lineage? That's where I'm going. That is saying, nobody retain glory in this lineage. Go and find out. Nobody stand on top in this lineage. It's not possible. You are going to bring down all Atalaya in your lineage. Some people have never heard that name before. When you get back home, go and read the story of Atalaya. Atalaya in my lineage. Bringing stars down. You have failed over my own. All Atalaya. Active over my children. Active over my business. Atalaya 
in this nation, you are coming down in the name of Jesus. All Atalaya, you are losing your place. Rekepe libaboseria, larakapoli mamosetia. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Atalaya has lost out the throne. Jehoash, rise up and laugh to the glory of God. Rakapali Babo Sharia. All Atalaya in this nation, Nigeria. The Lord rebuke you. All Atalaya over the Christian church. The Lord rebuke you. All Atalaya over the sons and daughters of Jesus Christ. The Lord bring you down. Are you prophesying against Atalaya? I'm not saying meditate. I said declare. Atalaya, come down. Yes. Adonaija, come down. Shapori Mamoseria. Are you talking? Is there dynamics in your words? Are you dynamic in your prayers? Atalaya, Adonaija. Come down. La Sakapo. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar. Come down. Shapori Mamoseria. Are you decreeing? Adonaija. Atalaya. Come down. To the glory of God. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. Forever and ever. In Jesus stable name we have prayed. Daddy, thank you, sir. You have done a fantastic job. In the realm of the spirit, heaven is laughing. Because those who have been robbed of their glory, those who have been robbed of their progress, those who have been robbed of what life should demand, I see the Lord returning smile to your faces. Wherever you are hearing me from, Either nearer or far away, distance is inconsequential in the realm of the spirit. You will laugh this year. Did you hear what I said? In the name of the, you will laugh this year. Your throne is not lost. You will regain back your throne. In the name of God the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Be seated and listen to this. I'm sure in recent time, you may not have been told something I'm about to tell you now. But God has empowered me to tell you. There's something that's going on in the heavens. And whenever I am talking about heavens, I'm not talking about the first heaven. Neither am I talking about the second heaven. I'm talking about the third heaven. The enthroned ones sit there. The Holy One of Israel. The great Jehovah, the I Am, stays in the third heavens. And he says, I should tell you there's something that's going on there. Permit me to read in Psalm 2 from verse 4. Or if you just allow me, I can just lean back a little bit from verse 1 to verse 4 so I can get the picture very clearly. Why do the hidden rage why is this multiple anger? And the imaginations that is not carrying anything. The kings of the earth, they set themselves. The rulers, they take counsel together. Committee, committee, committee. Against the Lord. Not only against the Lord. Against his anointed. Who is anointed ones? Those who believe in creos. In Christ. Who are people of Christ, the anointed one. And then he said, What the subject of their meeting was, he was, let us break their bounds asunder, let's cast away their cord from us. Look at verse 4. He that sitteth in the heavens is <laughs> laughing. Is what? Only. 
let me say something to someone here who knows how God works over your matter you will laugh there's laughs going on in the heavens the third heaven you know people don't know whenever you talk about heaven some people believe heaven means you are so melancholia you are just only singing you are not moving and ripples on your face no excitement no nothing i'm out to tell you that heaven celebrates heaven does what how do you know that revelation chapter 19 verse 5 to verse 7 when you have your time go and read heaven celebrate over your matter heaven will celebrate and i pick up my bible and i discover that the bible has so much to say about the issue of laughing ah you will laugh this year and it says abraham wherefore did sarah why is sarah laughing you remember that in genesis chapter 18 verse 13 sarah was laughing why was he laughing they said sarah you are still going to have a child though <laughs> this year what will be difficult for your mind to capture that no one in your lineage has ever become it will happen to you the bible even says in the book of job chapter 5 verse 22 job 5 22 he said during the austerity measure you will laugh during austerity measure, you will do what? He said, He that is seated in heaven is laughing. He's laughing against those who are planning to truncate your progress. Psalm 2, verse 4. And I'm also declaring today in the name of the Lord, because the Bible has said in Ecclesiastes, Chapter 3, verse 4, there's a time to laugh. There's a time to do what? Uh -uh. Why should you always be wearing a melancholia face all the time? Want to box everybody to just be like that? If you're happy, you don't show it, you just make your face like a cat. So when somebody look at your face like a cat, say, ah, I be madam, she would be a happy lady. Look at that man who is like the whiskers is also coming up. Maybe he's happy. Oh. When you are happy, you don't hide it. Hello? Happiness is happiness. You will laugh out loud. The Bible says there is a time for laughter. That time in the life of some people, they have used eraser to clean it out. Every time is a time of weeping. Time of complaining, grumbling. Time of lamentation. Can you return back to your timetable? Time of laughter. And in the name of the Lord of hosts, this year, you are going to laugh. Yeah. Somebody says, is he prophesying or something? Well, the Bible has already said you are going to laugh. Luke chapter 6 verse 21 says it. You will laugh. Whether somebody agreed to it or not, you will do what? Laugh. You will laugh. Yes. Yes, you will laugh. They thought they have already cornered you to give you road close. At the center of your journey in life. Time will fail me. But the story is very clear. You will not die before your miracle comes. The word laughter is a sign of satisfaction and joy. When you laugh loud. You show that. Hey me. <laughs> you think you can just capture me like that. Those who have captured you. They are missing you out. Hello? What they thought you will never be able to achieve within a short while, I decree from this altar, you will achieve it in record time. So many times we have looked at ourselves, we don't understand who is behind our predicament. But God is saying, I should tell you, whether you know them or you don't know them, I am announcing the name Yeshua. Who owns this rod of authority? 
I decree that as you step out from here today, things that will make you to laugh will happen. You, there's no way you can laugh without people seeing your, your teeth. Even if you don't have... Somebody now make a parable to me. He was laughing. <laughs> when you know it's not time for your teeth, set of teeth to be removed. Yeah, that's where you want to laugh. Like <laughs> but when you know you are old enough, I got the woke. Or I got the wine. <laughs> and they see, say, the set of teeth is not complete. I decree from here today. Whatever has put a final full stop to your laughter, today, the Lord minus them away from your story. Go in the strength of this word. Every Solomon that is hearing me here, and Adonijah took your throne, and you are there in a dry land, in the name of Jesus Christ, regain back your throne. As many who have been damaged by Adonijah, in the name of the Lord, receive your healing. Amen. And I also decree from here today, in the name of Jesus. Ah, thank you, Daddy. I had the Lord say to me, tell my people, I restore the season of laughter to them. Amen. Your noble assignment will be carried out in laughter. Amen. Atalaya, your seasons are expired. Atal every atalaya in your lineage those are the spirit of never do well the law rebuke you Amen. now you are going to restore back to your timetable your scheme of work season of laughter Amen. so you are going to open your mouth Oluwa, asikweri, time of laughter I restore it back to my scheme of work the scheme of my life the scheme of my business in the name of Jesus, I restore it back. Yes, I am not to be sad. Sadness is not my story. Backwardness is not my story. The Lord is on my side. Are you restoring it back? Heaven is laughing because your enemies are losing. Heaven is laughing. Jehovah is laughing. Can you also restore back into your timetable? Time of laughter. This year, I will laugh over my children for good. And I will laugh over my enemy to mock them. Yes, restore back into your timetable. Season of laughter. Rakapoli Babasa. Tau Rakasi. Yes, Lord, restore back. Restore back from this morning my season of laughter. Restore back from this morning. Yes, my season of laughter. Restore back from this morning. Yes, restore them back. In my family, restore them back. In my work, restore them back. In my business, restore my season of laughter. In my means, restore them back. Let me laugh over situations in my family. Let me rejoice, Lord. Restore back season of laughter. Rima Koroba Karushi. It is time, Lord. Total restoration. Season of laughter. Father, let it be restored to this parish, to this ministry. Lord, restore them back. To everyone that is listening, Lord, restore their season of laughter. We shall rejoice together. Restore it back to this nation. Time of peace and laughter. Restore it back to Nigeria. Restore Nigeria's glory. Restore us back to our season of laughter. Our peace. Lord, restore us back. Rama Lord, do it for us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Set your hand to our Father and the Lord, and you ask that the Lord will make season of laughter to continue in his life. That season of laughter will continue in his life. It will not stop. It will continue in this ministry. Rima Kuroba Karushi. That the season of laughter that God has started, that it will not stop 24 7. In the name of Jesus, it will not stop. The season of laughter, yes, 
Heaven will come to rejoice over him. Heaven will come to rejoice over him. In the name of Jesus. Rama Kuroba Kaurishin. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh, briefly put on your offering to your offering envelope if you are giving online. Please give to the account number that has been give it to put it the account number that has been displayed online. But for those that are here physical, put the money in the envelope that has been given to you. Ushers, envelope in front. Envelope in front. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please do not forget that Friday, 6 p.m. is online service by the Jew. Sunday, the program starts by 9 a.m. in the morning. Don't be late. If you are workers, please note your time is 9 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. Praise the Lord. Let's rise up on our feet. Raise up your offering and ask God to restore back your financial laughter. Now there's a way Allah to come to your phone and laughter will come out. Father, restore my financial laughter. Yes. Put an end to sorrow and mystery in my life. Put an end to financial mystery. Rima Kureba Karushi. God will do it to you if you want. Yes. That the Lord will put an end to it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we drop the offer, please note short time in the year course where that is started in that will be started in August. The form is available at five hundred naira. If you want to join short time in year course, it's on Saturdays and three Saturdays. In different months, short term share course starting in August, second Saturday in August. Father Lord, this is our offering. It's our seed. We ask you, Lord, you accept it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the spirit of Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord.